school youtube it's your boy so crazy tv back with another one man episode two legend that we got here well known mahmoud abdul raouf man legend right there man denver great lsu legend retired number 35 jersey in the lsu rafters yes sir gonna dissect and break this down let's get it now before i break this down man i got a disclaimer man i ain't trying to get no copyright claims i ain't trying to do none of that man i'm trying to do my content 100 percent me nobody's help you know reinventing this channel lost legends the series we on episode two yeah that's why i'm making a video like this man that's why i ain't gonna show that many clips but we gonna dissect and do what we gotta do you feel me go ahead and sit tight like this video share this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification gang if you want to get tuned in now let's go let's dive into this man with the third pick of the 1990 nba draft by the denver nuggets they selected abdul Raouf, he averaged as a senior 29 points, 5.7 assists, and was called up to the McDonald's All-American game. He was also named Mississippi Basketball twice, 1987, 1988. Having never played an organized game, Abdul Raouf was discovered by a middle school girls coach in Gulfport, Mississippi during lunch period on the playground. Recognizing his skill, she convinced his mother to allow him to play organized basketball. In his first game, despite not knowing the rules, Abdul Raouf scored 24 points. Abdul Raouf was a standout freshman for LSU. He played with Shaq, y'all, and he is the best LSU player to ever play. Scored 48 points against Louisiana Tech in his third game for the school. He set the record for a freshman with 53 points against Florida. On March 4th, 1989, he scored 55 points against Ole Miss to top his personal best. So setting a career high for three-pointers made with 10, he appeared in 32 games in his freshman season, setting the NCAA record for points by a freshman with 965 and points per game, 30.2 he was named sec player of the year and first team all-american in his sophomore season he produced similar numbers with scoring averages with 28 points per game on february 10 1990 he tied his career high for three pointers made while finishing the game with 49 points he was named sec player of the year and first time all-american for the second year in a row after a remarkable two-year stint at lsu abdul raouf declared for the draft his number 35 jersey was retired by the tigers in 2020 abdul raouf was selected with the third pick of the 1990 nba draft after his first season he was named nba all rookie second team and he also went to the 1993 nba slam dunk contest Rove can shoot free throws too his free throw percentage is the third seasonal highest in nba history behind calvin murphy and jose calderon in Denver until 1996 and was a key player on that team, winning the NBA Most Improved Award in 1993. In 1995, he scored 30 points on a career-high 20 assists against the Phoenix Suns. On December 8, 1995, Abdul Rauf posted a career-high 51 points against the Utah Jazz. And in 1996, he was traded to the Sacramento Kings. In 1998, Abdul Rauf played overseas, the Turkish Basketball League, and is currently playing in the Big Three right now. And in 2018, he placed fifth in the three-point field goal percentage, hitting a 45% clip. Abdul Rauf is perhaps best known for the controversy created when he refused to stand for the Star Spangled Banner. This man is a legend, LSU legend, NBA legend, and he is now a lost legend. People don't talk about him. That boy was Steph Curry before Steph Curry, man. Well, I am out with this video. I'm done with this breakdown. Like this video, share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification gang. See that I'm on. Let's get it.